Guess it's coyote for dinner. Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're heading to Los Santos then? Soon, I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... That might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the lost has descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor! I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, wasn't you the one who, well, sent them on their way to begin with? Grief has a beautiful way of bringing folk together, Wade. The last camp. Ooh, I got some fond memories of this place. The assholes here, they slipped. Ice took a hold of this whole place. You're lost, but you are not forgotten, brothers. We'll find that motherfucker. Yeah, you got bombs, you got pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks.
ridiculous. Let's take a ride. See what kind of shape they left this place in.
the last bunch of cocks! The lost aren't welcome here! Fuck off! Go! Fuck off! Pussies! Every one of you! You'll fucking die here! Come on! Now that that's over, let's get out of town. Los freaking Santos. That go okay? I heard lots of banging and screaming, but then not, not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family in a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor! Move up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, way. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. What? Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't, because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. I've learned to hate myself like a real what could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. That's it. That giant sprawl, Los Santos. This is the place. I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. Massacres in Blaine County as police are requesting increased resources from the state to deal with drug-related violence. The highly lucrative crystal methamphetamine trade is believed to be tied to several gang cartels. Some local politicians are calling for increased firepower and have requested either military or paramilitary support. They're both spending millions of dollars on attack ads, vigorously shaking hands with random strangers and lying through their teeth. Yes, the gubernatorial race is in full swing, with former Vinewood stuntman Jock Cranley going up against ex-school teacher and rich divorcee Sue Murray. Resident are torn on who to vote for. I like John Cranley. I think he'll throttle the deficit like he used to throttle bad guys. Plus, he's had a lot of drugs and three ways in his past, so it's out of his system. Sentimental tear... So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years. But you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? Mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. 
Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! I thought we were going to my cousin. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd over in Vifuchi Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had once. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So Cousin Floyd gonna live here. So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change, or am I missing something? Shut up! And then the fat, ugly troll came back from the dead. And the news picked it up. Our hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, I think. But what happens in the end? Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. You don't turn here. Hey, you lush fucking watch it. This one's a rat. This is the place. I think it is, at least. Come up here, Trevor. Floyd, it's me, Wade. Who? Me, Wade, your cousin. Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you, Wade. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's had a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy would never prove. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. 